JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFT's daily market review for May the 12th. I am Harlan Bospissuros, Senior Market Analyst here at JFT and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds to read the rest, and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar traded uh, higher against uh, all but one of uh, the other G10 currencies on Tuesday during uh, the Asian session Wednesday. It advanced the most versus CHF, NZD and AUD, while it decked out the least gains against the GBP and SEC. The greenback was found virtually unchanged against uh, JPY. The strengthening of the US dollar and the Japanese yen combined with the weakening of the risk-linked Aussie and Kiwi suggests uh, that market participants continue to reduce their risk exposure yesterday and, to and today in Asia. Indeed, uh, turning our gaze to the equity world, we see that major EU and US indices were a sea of red, uh, with UK's FTSE 100 losing the most, perhaps due to the relative strength in the British pound. Remember that many companies of the index generate profits in other currencies, so in a strengthening GBP environment, if those profits are, convert are converted uh, to pounds, they worth less. The negative appetite, although somewhat improved, rolled over into the Asian session today as well. As we noted yesterday, investors may have been nervous ahead of today's US CPIs for April. The headline rate is expected to have rallied to 3.6% year over year from 2.6%, further above the Fed's inflation goal of uh, 2%, while the core rate is anticipated to have increased to 2.3% year over year from 1.6%. The fact that the core rate is expected to also climb decently higher may raise questions as to whether the surge in uh, headline inflation will prove to be temporary and uh, will prove to be temporary and thus whether the Fed uh, should start considering scaling back its monetary policy earlier. That said, with the US employment report disappointing on Friday, it seems that, that Fed officials uh, may not be in a rush to alter their policy anytime soon. Indeed, some of them spoke yesterday and their comments were among those lines. Cleveland uh, President Loretta Mester said that uh, she would like to see more strength in the labor market, while uh, Board Governor Ray Brainard noted uh, that they are far from their goals. Atlanta President Bostick and Philadelphia's Harker were clearer in stating that um, there is no reason to withdraw monetary policy support yet. So with that in mind, we believe that even if equities keep sliding and the US dollar strengthens a bit more after the CPIs, this will just prove to be an extended correction uh, to the downside. We stick to our, uh, we stick to our guns that with uh, the Fed willing to stay accommodative for long, uh, US President Biden willing to add more fiscal support to the economy, and COVID vaccinations progressing at a decent pace uh, at a decent pace around the globe, risk appetite is likely to improve uh, to improve again at some point soon. In other words, equities are likely to edge uh, higher, while the U.S. dollar and other safe havens like uh, the Japanese yen are likely to stay under uh, are likely to to come under renewed uh, selling interest. During, uh, as uh, for the rest of uh, today's events, during the early European morning, we already got the UK GDP data for the first quarter. It was revealed that the UK economy contracted by less than anticipated during the first three months of 2021. But as we have been anticipating, the month-over-month -month rate for March showed, in the, uh, showed in this an expansion. The industrial and manufacturing production rates for the month were also higher, uh, were also higher than expected. 
This adds more credence to the Bank of England's decision to scale back the pace of its bond purchases at its uh, latest gathering and comes in line with the bank's view that the economy may return to its pre-pandemic size in the last quarter of this year, a quarter earlier than previously thought. With that in mind, GBP traders may get encouraged to add to their long positions, especially against the US dollar and the Japanese yen, which, as we already noted, we expect to come under renewed selling interest at some point in the, in the not too distant future. With regards to the energy market, we get the Energy Formation Administration report on crude oil inventories for last week, with expectations pointing to a 2.817 million barrels slide, following a fall of 7.990 million barrels the week before. Now tonight, during the Asian session Thursday, we have Australia's wage price index for April, which is expected to slow to 1.1% year-over-year from 1.4%. At last week's gathering, the RBA said that uh, despite the strong economic recovery in Australia, inflation pressures uh, remain subdued in most parts of the economy, and that at the July meeting they will consider further, bo further bond purchases following the completion of uh, the second 100 billion Aussies purchases in September. Thus, with wages slowing uh, even further, the chances for more QE by the RBA may increase. As for the speakers, we will get to hear again from New York Fed uh, President John Williams, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly, Atlanta Fed President Raphael Bostic, and Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker. Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey will also step up to the rostrum. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the Weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm hosting every Monday at uh, 7 o'clock a.m. GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. JFT, just fair and direct.